Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this dreamy night scene in Gravity Designer. First we're gonna use simple shapes to create this landscape and then we're gonna trace this reading boy with the pen tool. And I prepared already a sketch, you can follow the link in the description and download the sketch or you can work on your own of course. So I'll N or option N on your Mac to create a new document. I'm gonna size it with 270 by 320. Click create and first of all grab the rectangle tool or click R and cover the entire width of the entire artboard and go to the height of 210 pixels. Click or uh, uh, click enter and then navigate to the fill color, open the dialog box and choose the line or gradient. Uh, add uh, another, add additional a color stop in the middle, then arrange your gradient from top to the bottom. And I have a first swatch for this and apply this color. So on top, 4D, 4997. In the middle, 5, 5, 5, 6, C3, and on the bottom, 3E, B3, FC. Click OK. And now let's create another one that we should position on top and cover the rest of our artboard. Navigate to the fill, choose line of gradient again, and for this line of gradient. I'm gonna apply this color on top 3E B3 FC in the position at the position of 35% 2E 6C B8 and on bottom for A for D AD. So we created two rectangle. One is to denote the sky and second is to denote the lake. Uh, we can for a while, log them on the all layers, clicking on these uh, padlock icons and start with the circle. So grab your ellipse tool, click E and holding Alt or Option key and holding Shift key of course to constrain the proportions. We need to create a circle with a size of 122 pixels so I'm gonna constrain the key pressure here and navigate and create this circle with 122 pixels. We need to give a fill color for it and this fill color should be F4 FC FF almost white. Then we, we need to create another ellipse so grab ellipse tool again and with this ellipse I'm gonna create an ellipse with a width of 122 and the size that is 100, sorry, 111. Click OK. I'm gonna change the fill so we can easily see our rear shape and our forward shape. And I'm gonna position it on the top left and cover near two thirds of this uh, rear uh, circle. Now select both of them, navigate to the Boolean Shape Operators menu on your toolbar and choose this subtract command. It subtracts the forward shape from the rear one. So we have this lunar shape. I'm gonna rotate it a bit. Uh, probably I'm gonna push a bit out my forward shape. You can easily do that because uh, in Gravit we are dealing with the live shapes. Now I'm gonna duplicate my shape with Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D with the clone command. You can go to the Edit and Clone. Now with this duplicate selected, let's create actually another duplicate. So with the top uh, topmost duplicate selected, go to the blur and apply a blur, set the value of blur to 6.6. Sorry, 6.6, .6. click OK. 
So it's add uh, a bit of radiance from this uh, moon and now select another copy and uh, we need to unlock uh, our lake rectangle. Control Shift D, Command Shift D to clone it and select both your duplicate and duplicate of your rectangle. So uh, I have uh, a lunar duplicate selected and a sil uh, rectangle duplicate selected. Navigate to the boolean shape operators and choose this command intersect. Guys, if you don't know how these commands work, uh, follow the link in the description and read my article about boolean shape operators in vitorials.net. So, we have this small shape, this part of the moon that is uh, merged into the lake and uh, we need to go to the field and change the field and for this field uh, I'm gonna apply this color so select the compound shape go to the field place it on top first first of all we need to place it on top of the our layer stock then go to the field and select this field D3 EA FF then navigate to the blending mode and change this from normal to multiply, like so. So we add the shading uh, of our, uh, to our moon. Now we need to create a stars and to start with the star we need to grab the star tool, of course. Create a random, pretty random star. Uh, then I'm gonna resize it. Then I'm gonna set the number of points to 4. Uh, and then I'm gonna s decrease the size, which is basically uh, an inner radius of this star. So I have this pretty nice uh, four point star, and I also want to create a duplicate of the star. So go to the edit clone to create a duplicate, and with this duplicate selected, I'm gonna navigate to the modify, pass, and expand and shrink. And I'm gonna set the value to negative 1. And now I'm gonna manually enlarge my duplicate. Well, uh, I'm pretty happy with this result. So now go to the blur and apply blur to your uh, path. And with this blur, of course, we don't see it now. I'm gonna set it around 12. Click OK. So, uh, select them both and group them with Ctrl G, Command G. It's gonna be start. Then, I'm gonna place it like so. Uh, holding Alt key, place a few duplicates on your artboard. So, looks uh, fine. Now let's create clouds and for clouds we need to grab our ellipse tool and create a dozen of, um, of uh, small ellipses and of course they should overlap each other and create this cloudy shape. Select all of them and go and merge in or use the shortcut Ctrl M command N on your mark. With this compound shape selected, uh, go to the field and apply a line of gradient. And I'm gonna set this gradient for this um, cloud. On top it's gonna be EB, EB, EB. And on bottom it's gonna be 4D, 7, 4, D5. Great. Now let's decrease the opacity of this cloud to around 30%. And navigate to the more on the effects panel, then adjust and overlay. Select, check this option blend and then rearrange the direction of your overlay. So it's gonna be black portion of your gradient on the top and the transparent portion on the bottom. Uh, looks very nice. I'm going to decrease the size of it and uh, arrange it pretty randomly on my 
I thought probably also uh, decrease the size of my stars so uh, looks uh, great so now we are about to trace a boy and before we start we need to create one additional uh, page then switch to the multi-page mode and on this page I'm gonna place uh, a sketch my sketch and trace it with my pen So I have my sketch and I'm gonna decrease the opacity of it, lock it on my new uh, page, then Ctrl plus command plus to scale my artwork. At this point I'm gonna speed up my tutorial. So I have a pretty rough sketch of my boy uh, and uh, next step is to adjust some points, then delete the border, with airdropper to sample the color of the moon. Scale my tracings and place it on the moon. Very nice, now I'm gonna delete the page number one. We don't need it anymore. And last step, but not least, I'm gonna create a little haze, so it's create a bit more dreamy look and it's created much needed vibrance on the background so uh, in order to do that I'm gonna grab the rectangle and basically I'm gonna cover the moon so we need to create a rectangle with the width of the entire artboard and just and with the height it's enough to cover the moon uh, now go to this uh, rectangle fill column and apply the liner gradient and for this liner gradient I have left right gradient and on my left I have the color stop 7A95E1 and on my right I have the color stop 62A5E6 click OK now we need to move it to the bottom of my, our layer stack in order to do this hold ctrl or command on your mark shift and use your down arrow key to move it on the bottom and then use ctrl up arrow key twice to move it right on the top of our two rectangles now i'm gonna decrease the opacity to 11 percent of this rectangle and go to the blue and apply the blue Guys, uh, you can play with the opacity, so if you want to more haze and more vibrance, you can create, uh, you can increase the opacity. If you want to decrease the haze, you can send, set the opacity to almost none. So guys, this is our final composition. If you enjoyed, give us some up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friend. Don't forget to join Gravity Designer Tutorials Group and Gravity Designer User Group. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.